I'm Max. Max languidly crawls under the blankets of his bed and forcefully attempts to fall asleep, fiercely restraining his eyelids from moving upward. Hours pass, and he has yet to experience even a flake of slumber. The thoughts that keep him up at night begin to pour into his imagination. Why are my views going down on my YouTube channel? Do people not enjoy my videos? Am I doing something wrong? Is my channel dying? Are my attempts to finding out the problem failing? What will happen if I can't solve this? Will I have to start looking for another job? No, I don't want to do that. Every single job I had before, besides this one, would launch boundless misery upon my life. I remember working at the gas station, just staring at the counter, thinking how agonizingly boring and meaningless this is, while it seemed everyone else was going to parties and hanging out with friends. I remember waking up every morning just wishing I didn't have to go to my job, but I knew I had to. I had to go to a place that I was underappreciated, that I got paid way too little at, that I worked way too hard for, that it seemed that every time I did a little bit of extra work, there was nothing. I remember working at the movie theater, with overwhelmingly staggering stress consuming me, as I get yelled at by my boss about how I'm not washing the dishes quick enough, getting left behind by everyone else who already clocked off and went to a restaurant together. I remember working around an 18 hour shift, having to deal with many unhappy customers, being understaffed, so the food was coming out slow, everything was going wrong, and I stayed after extra to clean to make sure everything was done while everyone clocked out by themselves. It turned out that those people who clocked out early got an extra bonus, but I wasn't there to get that bonus. And I remember working in the army, laying on the bathroom floor despondent of life, since I was restricted to only doing what I was ordered to do and nothing else, just like everyone else there. I sure don't want to do that again. I think I'd rather die than live through my previous life. I don't want to be alone again. And yet, from some strange mechanic of fate, I have landed myself in a place where I am dreadfully fearful of my next upload, wondering if it'll garner even less views than last week. Why is this happening? Why do scum fuck retards like BuzzFeed, FoozyTube, Zoe Burger, Onision, Leafy, Prank Invasion, Morgs, and the others get to seamlessly swim in impeccable amounts of fortune and fame while most of us here at the bottom are painstakingly struggling to preserve making content with the amount of bullshit YouTube is putting us through? Why do the assholes like Josh Murphy, Sarah Bailey, Garrett Cooper, Jessica Richardson, Marcel McCarthy, and others get to be the goddamn popular kids in the school when they have the most shallow personalities and hollow dispositions, while I'm here at my desk, doing what I'm supposed to do, and yet getting nastily insulted by them because of how I look and what I do. Oh, I know why. The principal sucks them off for being good athletes. The teachers talk and joke around with them because they're the most vocal. The students look up to them because they're seen as the coolest and most good looking. And I am right here, doing my schoolwork, letting them cheat off me, giving them gum, lending them pencils, and getting socially battered by them the next day. When it's not school, it's work. When it's not work, it's out in the open. When it's not out in the open, it's at home. When it's not at home, it's on Facebook. When it's not on Facebook, it's on Twitter. When it's not on Twitter, it's on Reddit. When it's not on Reddit, it's on YouTube. Absolutely everywhere I am, we're either fighting to be the most popular or fucking off because nobody is going to care if we're there. It's the very reason YouTubers, especially smaller ones, have to make video on trending topics if they want any amount of growth, and that basically goes for anyone anywhere. 
We're not necessarily saying we deserve any of it. We have years to go and much to learn before we deserve even a shred of popularity, if that. But if we're questioning why the people who act the most stupid, break the most rules, scream the loudest, and say the dumbest things get to have it. Because their content is entertaining. Despite how subjective that is, I'm going to flash a good number of examples on the screen that I personally believe contradict that fucking statement and move on. Look how easy they have it. Effortlessly interacting with countless others while I'm sitting here wrestling my inner thoughts if I should even consider opening my mouth and excreting words to another person. They're touching and talking and playing with each other like the normal people they are, and I'm on the edge of life and death of my social status. Why can't I just be popular? Why can't people just like me? Why do I have to spend 50 plus hours per week writing, recording, editing, and uploading just to barely, if even, squirm up to 10 to 20k views, which by the way is relatively minuscule for a YouTuber, while Blasphemous HD shits out 4 videos a day of doing nothing and gets over 200k average per upload? Why? Why? I walk down the halls. Someone is walking towards me. Get out of my way. I search for a place to sit in the cafeteria. Why are you sitting here? Please leave. I look for a group to do the project with. We don't want you. Go over there. I try to play sports and choose a side. Please go to the other team or not play. <sighs> I'm sorry that I'm too weak to play football adequately. I'm sorry if I'm too awkward to sit at your lunch table. I'm sorry if I'm not funny enough to make you laugh. I'm sorry that I'm not social enough to hang out with you. I'm sorry that I'm not cool enough to be invited to the parties. I'm sorry that I'm not popular. Is it me? Is it what I wear to school? Am I dressing wrong? Is it my hair? Is it my face? Am I not friendly enough? Am I not giving you enough gum? Am I not letting you cheat off of me enough? Is it something, is it something I, said? I said? Is it how much I upload? Is it my content? Is it my channel size? Is it my relevancy? Is it what I talk about? Is it school or work? Is it YouTube? Is it sub, sub boxes? boxes? Am, I too, Am I too creepy? Am I trying too hard? Am I too depressing? Am I not entertaining? Am I too emo? Am I too aggressive? Am I too nice? Am I too passionate? What the fuck is it? I just want them to like me. That's all I want. That's all we want. But I have not forgotten. I have all of you here with me. Suffering with me. Fearing with me. Talking with me. Standing with me. Persevering with me. Laughing with me. And living hopefully happily with me. Physically, no. Spiritually, who knows? Emotionally, maybe. Psychologically, possibly. But you know what I mean when I say it, and I am thankful for you. And be thankful for those that you have. Because although we're not famous and have millions of people lined up to see us, we have each other. And at least for me, that's more than I've ever asked for. And I am much happier because of it more than I could have ever imagined myself being. Yes, there are problems that we need to solve, mistakes that we need to fix, walls we need to climb, battles we have to fight, and lives that need to be lived. But the entire world is not going to care unless you do first. You don't have to change who you are. You just have to improve on what you do. So if no one likes you, stop being a little bitch about it and start making yourself likable. Or at the very least, make people know that you're likable. It's gonna take time and effort, so you need patience and determination. It's gonna take learning and adapting, so you need curiosity and willingness. It's gonna take facing fears and feeling helpless, so you need bravery and hope. 
And don't you fucking dare say that you can't do it or you don't have any of those aspects. If you have a brain and are comprehending the words that are coming out of your headphones or speakers or whatever other technology that is allowing your mind to engage with my voice, then you are capable of overcoming everything I'm talking about. It's either give up or keep going. It's a choice, not fate. So keep going, guys. I believe in you. Keep going. Unless, of course, you don't want to, but I want to, so fuck you. Toodles.